The new Pokemon game Poke Rouge has taken the internet by storm, taking all the shitty boring parts of Pokemon, throwing it out the window and keeping all the parts we all know and love. Like spamming A with your starter Pokemon until you kill every Pokemon you have ever seen ever. Well, sort of. See this game is actually pretty difficult to beat normally. I mean there are 200 stages of Pokemon to go through and trainer battles with literal mega legendary Pokemon. So I did the only logical thing, make it 10 times harder of course. How you might ask? by attempting to nuzlocke the game. And if you don't know what that means, that's fine, because here are the three main rules up on the screen right now. There are also some minor rules that some people like to follow, like using no legendary Pokemon in your run, which usually I would agree with, until I was 25 runs deep, acting like a literal 10 year old yelling at their DS because their favorite Pokemon died. What? Explain! Ex how does that make sense? Are you out of your fucking mind? Anyways, we started our journey off with a Kyogre, a shiny centret for extra luck on our item rolls, which happened every time you completed a stage, and a Hoo Hoo, because it gave all the Pokemon on our team some extra XP. With this team setup, the plan was very simple. Spam Bouncy Bubble with Kyogre, doing a lot of damage while also healing myself every turn. Pray I get good item rolls that will help my Kyogre bounce through our enemies, and that Ivy, our rival, has a water or fire type Pokemon, because grass is super effective against water. And after almost dying to a level 2 tail of the literal first stage of the game, I got an item called Mystic Water. If you don't know what Mystic Water does, it gives a 20% damage increase to water type moves. And to make it even better, our rival had a Totodile, a water type Pokemon, meaning need be I could get some nice setups for Kyogre in the late game, which would definitely be needed because she eventually gets a literal Mega Rayquaza, which is just which is insane by the way. Anyways, once we finished up with her, we pretty much bouncy bubbled our way through most of the early game. The only major things that happened was our Kyogre learned Calm Mind, which boosted its special attack and special defense, which we put to good use against Ivy, sweeping her whole team with ease. Our Sentry evolved to a Ferret, and our Hoot Hoot evolved to a Noctowl. The only real problem we have at this point is we don't have any good Pokemon, like at all. I mean, as much as I love Noctowl and Sentret, they are no match for a literal Super Dragon. So I ended up catching a Scraggy at the 41st stage, since we can only catch the first Pokemon in each new area according to Nuzlocke rules, and we made it to our second Gym Leader, who was Electric, literal one of two only super effective typings for Kyogre. So, I used my big Pokemon brain and started with a Calm Mind, knowing I couldn't be one shot because Kyogre is a tank, and then proceeded to sweep the whole gym. After that, at stage 61, we got Haunter, which I turned into a Gengar, which was a huge pickup by the way, I mean, who wouldn't love this big smiley ball of joy? And at stage 71, we got a Tinkaton, which was also amazing because if you didn't know, this pink bundle of joy is Fairy and Steel, meaning its only weakness is Fire and Ground, and it is also immune to Poison and Dragon which are the typings of the final boss and Ivy's super duper strong Rayquaza, making Tinkaton very, very important for this run. And so, after spamming my Z key for about 30 minutes, killing literally everyone and everything in sight with our stupidly OP Kyogre, we made it to Ivy, the run killer. Stage 145. I don't even want to think about how many times Ivy has fully wiped my teams, my hope, my dreams, and just completely just ruined my day, honestly. This was the team we were going into it with, and we are about to see if this whole run was a big waste of time or a beacon of hope I could cling to. Alright, Ivy! Alright, so. You can't do that much damage to me. That's a little scary, but I think I can get... Oh yeah, you. Oh, I'm getting four of these off. Okay, maybe not. Alright, that's good, because we can get another Calm Mind off, and then, oh, oh, we're gonna sweep the fuck out of you. Oh yeah, give me one more. Give me one more. Give me another one. Oh, it's over. It's, it's so joke. It's over. It's over. It's over. We got sick. Yeah, it's over. It's over. GG. Goodbye, Ivy. GG. It was fun. You know, you tried your best. You know, sometimes it doesn't work out. Not everyone can be a Pokemon trainer like me. Yeah, it doesn't matter.
It doesn't matter. Look at you. Look at you. Shiny Rayquaza for what? For what? <sighs> this is great. This is a great feeling. It's lovely. I did not mean. I almost just fucked myself. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna die to this. Don't know what you thought was gonna happen. You're also gonna die to this. Yeah. And you are gonna die to this. Perfect. And then you are gonna die to this. Pokemon genius. Right here. Pokemon damn genius. <clears throat> so yeah, I kind of see why legendary Pokemon aren't usually used in Nuzlocke's. But hey, after 24 failed attempts, do you really blame me? I mean, I struggled for a week straight on this game, with most runs not even making it past Ivy and her strong and scary Rayquaza. Anyways, not much change from the early game of Poke Rouge compared to where I am now. Bouncy Bubble just has worked through every single situation, and I haven't had a close call, like, ever. See someone has to die here. Okay, yeah, pull Hyper Beam out of your fucking ass, why don't you? To be fair, I, I didn't want him to die. He was a great Pokemon. Me it was a gym battle. It got really hard. Look, all my Pokemon were dying. Really hard, okay? You know? We upgraded. We got a Conkle Door instead to replace him. It, it might not be a good replacement, but it's an extra Pokemon. Anyways, this was our team, and we're about to go up against the Elite Four. Our hardest challenge yet. All right. One more Pokemon to- okay, we're just straight into it, never mind. Um, Ice. She's an Ice Gym Leader, okay. How much damage do I take to Ice? I don't think any. No, yeah, we're fine. We can take one more of these. Unless she crits, but she doesn't. Bouncy. Okay, so we got three Calm Minds off, that's kind of huge. We should heal a good amount from what I just hit it with, right? They need- okay, that's not bad. Yeah. Play a full move. So let's use a fighting type, right? Okay. Question is, how much do you hit me for? Oh, you're dead. Cause we're- we're fu like, we're genuinely fine. Okay, well. You kinda didn't have to do that. Wait, you're lightning rock? And you got fucked like that? Okay. Yeah, we'll heal up anything he throws at us since he, yeah, he is dead. Nice! Okay. I calm minded a little bit. I don't know if that works, but we'll see. Ice Beam. You're dead. You should just- Gengar should just be weak. Yes. Why is it so light? He switched out? Alright, well he's dead anyway. You're just dead. You're just dead. Oh, why did I do so little? Oh my god, these bears are so fucking annoying. Just die, you piece of shit. Uh, I think same thing. Bouncy bubble, heal up, and then we'll actually kill it with ice beam. Beautiful. The Gengar is faster, but I don't think it'll kill. Yes. Uh, you're fire type, so you die. Thank you. Quit. Okay. Alright, blue. You're dead. All right, baby. Yeah, I, I spam Calm Mind and use my legendary Pokemon. Okay, it still counts. Personally, I think I could do the same thing with a Squirtle. If you could learn Calm Mind and Bouncy Bubble. All right, it, it still counts, okay? This is still a Nuzlocke. It works. I, I'm still following every other rule. But yeah, other than that, nothing really crazy happened other than the fact that we had finally made it past the Elite Four. This was the farthest any run has ever gotten. Run 25. I was literally 10 stages away from completing this Nuzlocke. All that stood in my way was Eternatus, the final boss, and my final battle with Ivy.
And so, we bouncy bubbled our way to Ivy, stage 195. But hours and hours I put into this game, everything came to this moment. If I didn't beat Ivy here, I would have quit. It would have been no Nuzlocke, it would have been over. I would have given up, no video, nothing. But that's not what happened. Why is he getting stronger with each touch? That is my question. Do I just have to kill him? I feel like I should just kill him. He's, he's making me nervous. Okay, oh. Alright, Quaza is here. We live. Problem is, we're not faster than him. This is where you come in, big boy. Yep. We missed, really? Okay. Well, then we switch into. What? Then he's a fire move. It's just. Oh my God! We survived with 10 HP. Oh my God! That's crazy. <laughs> Survive with 10 HP, uh, and that's gonna heal me up to like full essentially. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna heal me up a lot. Oh. Yeah. Heal me up, please. You know what sucks is we haven't gotten- we've gotten like two Calm Minds off. I think this is where we should get our Calm Minds off, calm minds off if, we, if we were going to. Alright, well, he's gonna kill me now if I do, so. Okay, we're in territory? Okay, never mind. We're not in territory. I just don't want it to, um... Okay, it's dead. Nice. If he goes into Feraligator, he'll be fine. If he goes into Rayquaza... I don't... No, I think it'll kill me. Should use Outrage, right? Yeah. And then, I don't know who he's gonna switch out to. This thing? Am I weak to... Flying? I don't think so. I think this is fine. We did it! We fucking did it! Somehow, some way, miraculously, we beat Ivy, the run killer. It was crazy to me because our Kyogre, the only thing keeping us alive, pretty much, was at 10 HP. But we did it. It was time for the final boss. And I was kind of scared. I didn't know what to expect. Because if I lost my Kyogre, it would have been done. It would have been over, even at the final boss. But the luckiest like thing ever just, just watched. It's so lucky. Insanely lucky. All right. Watch this. Nice. Bouncy bubble. Heal up. Wait, we didn't heal that much, did we? Bouncy bubble again. Ice beam. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Oh. Oh, uh... Oh, we're double battling? Hello? Bouncy Bubble and, uh... Poison Dragon? I don't know. Shadow Ball? Okay. Alright, we need to... 100% do an Ice Beam on you and then a Shadow Ball. Okay. Oh, there goes Gengar. Oh, we froze it! Oh my god! All right, this is where you come in. This is this is literally the whole reason you were on this team, motherfucker. This is your chance. This is why you were here. This is what you're made for, Tinkathon. What is that damage? It took my item. Oh no. Fuck. 
fuck? Why does that do so little damage? That's okay, Kyogre's kind of carrying right now, but if Kyogre dies, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Wait, it's just... It's just... I'm out of play roughs! But it's just stuck frozen. It can't do anything! Dude! I don't care if this is the luckiest fucking run in existence! It doesn't fucking matter, he's frozen! Yeah! He can't do anything! Yeah! Oh my god! And the, the ice beam just froze it and he couldn't get unfrozen! <laughs> oh, what a fucking run! That's insane! That's genuinely insane! We fucking did it! We Nuzlocke Pokemon Rouge! It only took 25 runs in a whole fucking week, but we did it! We did it! And I never have to do it again! Oh.